We're ready to go, Sarah. Um, so um, I'd like to call to order the meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals for New Canaan on uh, Monday, February 6th. Um, before I explain how it works, which you already know, Sarah, would you do the roll call? So John Mahoney. Present. Luke Tadion. Present. Um, Cynthia Dole. Present. Richard Carasu. Now present. <laughs> present. And then um, Christine Bonner is absent. Right. Okay. So um, just to reiterate from the last time, um, when we call you for your case, we ask that you state your name for the record, um, walk us through the hardship. In this case, I presume you'll be updating us on that. Um, the hardship needs to be associated with the land and not something that is financial in nature or a want for a particular lifestyle or family situation. Uh, we're gonna ask questions of you. Um, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll go through the questions. Uh, you'll be given an opportunity to respond before we go into um, the business session, we'll also ask, I don't think it's relevant today from what I'm seeing, but we'll ask if there's anybody else in favor or opposed to the application who just can't respond. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go into a business session. And during the business session, um, uh, once we do that, we can't take any more input. Mm -hmm. So we'll discuss our, amongst ourselves. You'll, happy to be here, you know, and then it takes um, four positive votes to grant um, a variance. There are five, five of us present, so, um, you know, one, you can have one no vote and still get your variance, okay? Um, and with that, I think, um, in, uh, in short, we're going to go to 136 South. Do um, we have to appoint a chair or temporary chair first? Um, I think normally, I don't know. I, mean, I guess I would um, be. Not even the temporary chair and then we hold that chair maybe at the end. Well, I think we have to have Kevin here for the chair. I think for this meeting, we can have temporary yeah. chair, but then for an official chair, Kevin doesn't. Oh, no, maybe you. That's uh, not temporary chair. Okay, thank you. Second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, so for the record, 83 Garish Lane um, has asked to be continued to next month, um, so the public hearing is not open. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, so we have then our continued item from last month. 136 South Avenue, uh, zoning variance upon the application of Ma Matthew Sullivan, the Soho Group, author authorized agent for Mark and Christiana Arnuser. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. Okay. Owners for a variance of section 3.5.E.3 to expand an existing brick patio with a new bluestone terrace beyond the front yard setback all, um, along Church Street. There is to include an outdoor barbecue fireplace portico structure with two columns in the B residence zone located at 136 South Avenue. Map N block 64 lot 26. So with that, we'll turn it over to, to you all. Thank you. <clears throat> so my name is Matthew Sullivan from Soho Group. I'm the architect and authorized agent, as John mentioned, um, on the property. So, so the hardship, uh, the hardship on this lot is the width. Uh, in the B residence, uh, a 75 foot width is required, and um, per per the surveyor, the existing lot width is 43 feet. Um, and that's an average on the on the front it's 58 on the on you know the rear is 43. Um, 
So that is the hardship, is the width of the lot. Okay. At, at no point is it 75 feet in width. Um, so that being said, I'll, um, I'll go back to the first drawing, which are the existing conditions. So the existing home um, had a three-tiered brick patio. The first tier was up high off of the kitchen. And then it stepped down to a second tier, which um, was on grade. And then it had another set of steps down to a third tier of brick patio. Um, and, and the total size of the existing brick patio is 606 square feet. And again, it was off of the existing kitchen. And this was on the, um, I believe this is the church, church street side mm -hmm. of the property. So, what, and th these are the conditions of it. The, the brick on grade, it didn't have a concrete slab below it. So, you know, um, undulating kind of tripping hazard. Mm -hmm. uh, the clients have two young kids and, and um, older grandparents. So, um, and th there was a, a fence, a uh, complete opaque white picket fence that was in disrepair that was enclosing the brick patio. And so now going on to what we would, we are proposing to build here. Is that picket fence, a uh, picket fence, or is it this um, it's a white, stockade fence here? It's, uh, I guess stockade, yeah. yeah. Okay. It, but it's a solid, it's wood. It, it was yeah, real. Solid. Wood. The pickets are like, you know, picket and space. Okay, no, it's not picket, I call it. It's stockade, stockade fence. Um, so what we are proposing to build um, is, again, the kitchen did not move. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we pushed it forward maybe three and a half feet, but the location did not move. So we're essentially trying to keep, uh, you know, a set of French doors, and then instead of having that big upper tier, just keeping a very minimal landing with, uh, with steps going down around all three sides. And then that would lead to a blue stone terrace, and that would be, have a concrete slab beneath it, so that the stones are, are you know dead level and, and there's no tripping hazards for the young kids and the grandparents. So the total size of this proposed stone terrace is 400. We've we've reduced it even further than the last time, so it's down to 430 square feet. So what we're what um, I'm sorry from six from six hundred and six okay. down to four thirty. So that's a reduction of one hundred seventy five square feet. Um, and it's uh, I believe we were asked. Um, I think we were asking for you know maybe like four eighty the the last time. So it's come down even since the last okay. hearing. Okay. So um, once you get off those steps, we would we're proposing for this to just be all on one level as I just mentioned. And what we are now showing is to pull that front edge closest to Church Street. Uh, it's about five foot, two inches um, away from the property line. So we're proposing to hold that straight edge. And then on the left side, we're holding that left edge. And what we would like- Which of the plans show the existing guy? Um, the first one. The one. The, yeah. But where's the new pattern on this? It's not. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you have a plan that shows the old one and new ones you proposed on each other? Yeah. If you, I mean, if you look closely on this proposed, I'll zoom in. You can you can kind of see this dashed line here. That is the edge of the existing brick patio on grade. And then it came down here. And then it stepped back, and this was almost like a little retaining wall that was holding the higher tier. I don't know if they tucked in a grill or they stored firewood or something, but there was there was a big okay. retaining wall. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that was yeah. okay. So that was space for a grill. And then the edge of the patio is here, and then it stopped, but then it kept going. They had all that as brick patio over here. So the new patio is going to be one height. Yes, all of the seating area and the outdoor dining area, one level, and then steps to get up from grade, and then steps to get up into the kitchen. And that's gonna be the same level as existing higher level? 
This is the same as the higher level. This is the same as the that's what I meant. Yeah, this the level. Side. Yeah, sorry. Okay. The left, sorry. the kind of tier two. Okay. Um, so so that's the reduction, you know, by not taking that on the right side. And we really would like to square off the corner on the left side. Um, this is still this edge here. I guess I should do this. This edge is essentially on grade. You know, there may be a half inch step down or one inch step down, but this is on grade. Um, and then as you slope down to this corner, this is the most exposed corner because the, the natural contours you know, go down towards the driveway. So over here on this edge, you know, you're looking at about, I elevated it, you know, about 16 inches high. It's even hard to see. Um, and it's it will be a brick finish on that exposed edge. So it's not it's not a rock concrete, it's not a barge, it's a, it's it's brick, and the intent is to match the brick of the you know foundation exposed foundation of the house. The yeah, she kept the brick from the original backup. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, and then you know just lastly you know these aren't tall arborvitaes anymore. These would just be you know either hostas or um, hydrangeas, something to just plant or soften that edge. Mm -hmm. um, so you may not even see the brick um, that would be exposed at this for this further. And that's 16 inches high on that side you said it's yeah okay. your back is 16 yeah. yeah. and then this again uh, uh all i did was i think we just slid this away from the house so the walkway is just getting you from the driveway up to the new proposed terrace and and we'll we'll create a planting bed up against the house um with some plants there so and the variance is required because part of it's not in grade essentially that's essentially <laughs> Um, so there are no more, the, the portico, we've taken out the outdoor barbecue, we've taken out the outdoor fire pit, we've taken out. So, you know, the clients have, have um, kind of moved on and sacrificed those elements. And now we're looking at just a, a level terrace that is on grade on one side and 16 inches above grade on the right. Okay. Any questions? <clears throat> if it's so, it's more than thirty-six inches above the grade. Then it's not a patio. It's so not. No, so it's um, if it's more than thirty-six inches above grade, it counts as building coverage. Right. Any patio that's above grade, by definition, becomes a terrace, and a terrace is a structure. Okay, so that's what I need. Yes, because it's a structure and a setback. But then the definition of a terrace. Yes. Oh, okay. Jessica, any questions that you have? Any thoughts? Sorry, I'm sorry. Guys. No, I think um, I think the plan redesign really uh, did a good job of taking the notes from our last meeting, and I can certainly understand why they'd want to try to level off and make it now a terrace. Right. Okay. Any other and you eliminated the bump out for the bar fit. The, the yeah, the barbecue bumped out. Yeah, that's yeah. all gone. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Oh, and I, I should mention we reduced the left to right dimension. I think we were asking for 36, and now we're down to 34. So that's also how how we save saves. Yeah, so it's 34 wide. So it basically got two feet less wide, and then it pushed away from Church Street by about 10 inches, I believe. Or any questions? No, I agree. You know, Jessica, I think you've taken some good notes based on you. You know, my notes and discussions of the last meeting. So, thank you. The right. edge of this on Church Street, this had the white fence around it for this whole thing? Correct. Yeah. Um, there was this, the, this was the existing condition here. So the fence went here, down. To here over, and then this was just kind of like it was just planks, right? It, it wasn't uh, on the inside. The brick stopped here, but then the fence was a little bit past the brick, so there was just like unkept bushes in there. But then the fence essentially stayed right along that edge, 
And then again, they had plantings over here. So after the edge of the brick, they had plantings, and then the fence was here. Are the plantings going to be closer to the road than the fence was? If you're talking about the proposed hostas. Or, or whatever it is. My concern is if it gets closer, it's going to interfere with the sight line coming around the corner. Oh, I don't think they would be tall. Oh, I'm not. I mean, even the bush we have right now is too tall for that corner. So we're going to keep everything low just so we can. We have visibility pulling out. Very challenging issue for us right now. So I can't. Right, because they had cut down. They were the bushes. I remember were higher the last time you were proposing. Yes, yeah, so we were proposing kind of privacy arbor vitis, right? Six to eight feet, right? Because there was a lot more kind of inter outdoor entertaining space, right? You know, now it's essentially you know seating and, and dining, and and we're just the mm -hmm. things are meant to be low. Because people, you know, people fly in church. Yep. And so we we had a conversation about the landscaping in a sense about how like. I don't know if you've seen the uncapped bush in the back. I'm sorry, my head trimmer really can't get that far. It's the wired one. But we're going to take that out because when we pull it out, I can't see that church and people come pretty fast. So the uh, pipeline is okay. very important to us. He means it's going out. He means over, over yeah. here. Yeah, but yeah. still, like it's it's for both ways because people come into church and down church. Right, right. But at the switch point, the, uh, the corner, but I don't think it would interfere because it's it's set in. From the structure that is on south end. I mean, I think there's a lot. I, I, I mean, here they say 36 and high planting, but I kind of just want to break that into our decision. No, I don't. You know that. I don't have a problem with it. I mean, unless it really creates a Spine yeah. issue. Well, well that's what I'm saying. We're not always telling. I'm trying to say 36 inches. It's not any Well, like 36 it. is not a problem. That's what I'm saying. I, I didn't even have a problem with the arbor body. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the, the arbor body is, I think, it could be a problem because it's closer to the fence. Yeah, okay. but it's just, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, I'm, I'm very familiar with the property. And I think, from my perspective and looking at where it is, and they're, they're going to be far enough back, I can't. Imagine that they're going to block any sight line. Are you worried about it coming from that, from south yeah, down? The south, uh, yeah, I agree. I, I, it's far enough back looking. This back. is the curve. Right. Yeah, I don't think that you're going to have any intrusion at all. I oh, know that's a tough corner. It's a tough corner, but you're far You're setting, back. you're pretty far, you're far back. back. It's not like you're going mm. right up to the I, corner. I, I'm like, I just like to think what I'm saying is. They're saying it 36 high planting. I just want to incorporate that into oh. our decision. Okay. Yeah, I don't think yeah, that, that, you know, if you couldn't have a pie, it would be a huge. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is that the kind they don't do it? Yeah, it's been a lot yeah. I, I, I wouldn't even have a problem if they were a little higher. I understand there's a big difference between 36 and, and, and it's really, a, I'm not trying to redesign anything here. I'm just, Trying to give you options at this point. Right, Who right. is the opposite of last? Mm -hmm. Landscapers and store people, guys. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, maybe not in that. Yeah. <laughs> so the only thing to consider with having a condition like that is the patio used to be more private then because of the fence, yeah. and so if you're limiting the height, there it's then going to be more open and visible to the public. So then, are you increasing the nonconformity by saying you can never have screening? Well, I think getting rid of the fence is a, is a plus. It's just it's a little closer than the fence. Yeah, but not by not by much. Mm -hmm. If it's three or four behind, I mean, I think that would create you know prevent people from walking onto the patio. No, or if even they want to put fence behind these bushes, I'd be okay with that. I just don't want something. I don't want us proving something that could potentially go over block the sight line. I mean, I have everybody pushing from us to get 30 feet high. You know, it's 16 feet wide. So, otherwise, I'm fine this. Okay. Um, do we have enough? Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, and just to confirm, it's a different term. There's no objections. Neighbors. Oh, no, yeah, thank you, Rich. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. Um, just for the record, is there anybody here, um, Sarah, online that we need to? No. 
There's no one. No, and Miriam, there's nobody in the room speaking before, for or against. Um, She's over at the theater. Oh. Um, okay. Um, so. You can make someone can make a motion. Yeah. To close the public hearing. I'll move to close the public hearing. Can I sit? All right. Okay. Terrific. Thank you. Um, discussion. I think it's fine. I'd move to allow it pursuant to the plan, as I said, including the height of the bushes. Yeah, I guess, I, first of all, I you know, I think they really heard what we were talking about. I don't have any problems with the 16 inches, and that to me, given the hardship, it seems in balance. I personally wouldn't, I, I understand you don't want it super, the plantings to be super high. Um, I'd be personally, I don't see a need to limit them to 36 inches. And, you know, to give some privacy should they want to take it. I don't know whether anybody else feels that way. I don't get, you know, I'm not trying to. They're okay with 36 inch plan. So this is what plan. I, mean, I agree with you, John. I, I don't, I, I think there, are, if there is, some cause for safety concern, I would imagine that would be flagged by another party in this town. Um, but I think they've made good steps to try to accommodate our prior requests. And I don't think it's necessary to restrict the height of the plantings. Luke, is there another way to address your, I understand and respect your concern. Is there another way to address it? Mm -hmm. Another way to make some vague Comment that we're not approving of the plantings. We don't have to approve the plantings anyways. I just don't want someone to say, well, the ZBA approved of these plantings. You know, then they block the site line. We don't have to approve them. Well, that would not. be the other way to do it is just to approve the patio. That's what I'm saying. Just approve the patio and they can plant what they want. If there's some sort of, you know, in the model table or something, that's what planting is. And, you know, like the zoning variance for planting. I'm fine with that. He's yeah. absolutely fine with that. So, would somebody like to make a motion? Yeah. I move that we move the patio pursuant to the plans. Uh, and the terrace. I mean, terrace. I propose that we approve the terrace according to the plans, um, but we're not approving or disapproving of, of the plantings, which aren't required in connection with the variance. Um, and that grant because of the hardship associated with the shape of the lot and the topography of the lot um, requiring, you know, the 16 inch grade. And also that we allow it and that to make the property more conforming with someone by reducing the coverage within the setback. And I second that. I agree with right. Okay, thank you. Uh, Cynthia, start with you. Sure, I'm in favor. Still in favor. Rich Carroll, two in favor. Mahoney in favor. Patrick in favor. Jessica, Jessica Cardin in favor. Thank you. Your parents is granted. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you, thank you for, for thank you. taking it all into consideration. Yes. And Here's your problem. Okay. Thank you. The, the, the non feedback feedback is really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's very thank you. And I hope you enjoy it for many years. Yeah. Very, very cool. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we've got to approve the minutes from last time. Last time. Um you guys are upset. Yeah. We stayed long enough. Reopening something, right? Richie, I agree. Right. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
I did not have any. I didn't have any either. No comment. Anybody else? No comments. Okay. We uh, John was present. Was present. I was present. I was not. Which was correct. Okay, so we have four people who involved. Rich Carrington, Jessica, and me. And you were present. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Okay. I move next. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Sarah. Anything else we need to? So, um, Kevin should be coming to the next meeting to officially um, be there for a chair to be voted on. And then there should likely be a secretary also. Right. Um, so, as you guys probably know, Laura has resigned from her position as chair um, and is not on the board anymore. And then also, Lynn resigned from her position. So, for now, I will be running CPA and everything while we find a replacement. So, lucky you. Um, but I believe that's everything there. Um, so, Adrian Garish has been moved to next month. And then we have another application that will be on the March agenda. And I have handouts for you guys to take home with you now. Okay. Um, but I believe that's everything. Okay, yes, good. Thank you. Good job on the planners now. Is that what we're looking yes. for? It's so the two short so people short. And the planning is on unless when you're already one person short. We're one person short. We need two people. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying on, on the planning is on the apartment. Oh, on the one. there are already a vacancy. Yeah, that's that's two people short. But um, we should close the hearing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but, um, we're all so, uh, yeah, yeah, well, let's go ahead and close. Yeah. I move we close the hearing, close the hearing. And if we stop recording, that would all be All right, great. so 741, we adjourn. That's what we're going to have with.